happy Thursday. Welcome to today's comprehension learning. Now, Miss Morgan has included a you will need on her board today just so that we are ready for four hour lesson and we don't have to run and go and get anything during the lesson. Okay, so today you will need your CPG book. You will need your purple book. You will need a pencil or a pen, a ruler, so we can get those lovely neat straight lines and you will need your whiteboard and your whiteboard pen. So if you don't have those, just hit pause on the video and go and run and get them. Okie dokie, you should have all of those items now. And let's read our learning question for Thursday the 28th of January together. It says, can I answer questions based on the text and write a list sentence? I don't know if we've done list sentences before. We may have done, let's see if you can remember. Okay, so I know that a list sometimes looks like this. This is Miss Morgan's typical shopping list. Okay, so she's got lots of different items on there. Some bananas, some apples, some eggs. Okay, you tick that list, don't you, once you get those items when you're shopping. But we can also write our items in a sentence. My sentence says, I went to the shop and I bought some bananas, apples, fish, eggs and milk. So you can do your list looking like this or you can do your list in a sentence as well. But we're year three, so we can do our list in a sentence. So let's learn a little bit more about a list sentence. Now there is one very important thing about a list sentence, so repeat after me. One important thing about a list sentence is using a comma. Shout it out to the video for me, shout using a comma. Brilliant, okay, so a comma helps us to pause in a sentence. So when we're watching TV, we know that we're hitting the pause button, stops the film, doesn't it? Or stops the programme. But it doesn't stop it altogether. It just pauses it for a little bit so that you can carry on after. So let's look at my list sentence here and let's see where we can find the commas. If you pause the video, just have a look to see if you can find those commas that look like this in my sentence. Okay, don't let's see if you found the correct commas in place for the commas. Okay, I went to the shop and I bought some bananas. There's one. Apples, there's another. Fish, there's another one. And I think I've got all my commas. But for some reason, there's not a comma. After eggs, there's a comma. After each of the items I want to buy. But there's not one after eggs. And before milk, there is the word. And, hmm. now I bet you're wondering in a list sentence why I can't just say the fruit bowl has oranges and bananas and pears and kiwis and apples in it. Although that sounds very confusing and complicated saying and 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 over and over again doesn't it? So today we are saying bye bye and, say it with me, goodbye and. Okay, and we are replacing those ands with a what? With a comma. Well done if you got that. Okay, so let's say goodbye to those ands. So, goodbye and, goodbye and, goodbye and. Oh, I'm sure we kept one and in our other sentence though. Shall we have a look? Now, in my list sentence here, I did have one and. But what's special about that and? Is it at the beginning of my sentence? Do I say, I went to the shop and I bought some bananas and apples, fish, eggs, milk? No, that doesn't make sense. My and is in the middle of my last two items on my list, eggs and milk. Okay, doke, so let's see if we can correct this sentence and make it into a list sentence. 
So there was one important thing about a list sentence using a comma. And make sure we can see that in our sentence as well. So I know the comma has to go in between each of my items that I am listing. Okay. The fruit bowl has oranges. That's one because I'm going to put a comma. Bananas. Mm, there's another. Pears, kiwis, pears, comma, kiwis, and apples in it. Can I not just get rid of that and? Bye bye and. And put a comma after kiwis instead. Let's read it together to see if it makes sense. The fruit bowl has oranges, bananas, pears, kiwis, apples in it. It doesn't sound right, does it? We need to leave that very special and at the end of our sentence in between those two items. So I think that our list sentence looks very good now. What's the one important thing about a list sentence? Using a comma. Well done. Okay, so I've got a little bit of a task for you now in your purple books okay so make sure you find your next clean page in your purple book ready for our task hit pause and do that now okay so who's got their pen and their purple book ready for their task brilliant okay so listen very carefully to what i want you to do today in your purple book you are going to write out these sentences number one and number two but my sentences aren't complete and they've got to be a what? What do you think from our learning today? They've got to be a list sentence. You have got to list these items, okay? But remember, what must we use in a list sentence? I hope you've seen it on my board, a comma. Okay, so number one says, Tony's favourite planets are, and you've got to list Jupiter, Saturn, Venus. Okay, so if I remember in my items, I don't put a comma after R because R isn't an item in my list, but I do put a comma after my first item, which is Jupiter. But then I've only got Saturn and Venus left, so I don't put a comma there. What do I put instead, Year 3? Pause the video and have a think. Okay, I don't put a comma there. I put my word and well done if you got that correct. And then what must we add on to the end of our sentence? What's important for the end of the sentence? A full stop, well done. Okay, so I'm going to show you now how I want you to represent this in your purple book. Okay, so I hope you've got your next clean page ready. Okay, dear. I've got mine ready. And I have already written in my neatest joined up handwriting. Thursday, the 28th of January. And I've wrote comprehension because we are in our comprehension lesson. So if you haven't done that, hit pause on the video and do that now. So, well done to a lot of you. You've been getting your presentation lovely in your purple books, just like you would do in school. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my ruler and I'm going to neatly underline my titles. And I'm applying a lot of pressure. That means I'm pushing hard onto the ruler so that it doesn't move and I get a wobbly line. Okay, so if you remember... We had a sentence on our board and it started as Tony's favourite planets are. I'm going to write number one to show that I am answering question number one. So I'm going to leave a line so that I'm lovely and neat. And I'm going to start it with, do you remember yesterday's learning? What must we start our sentence with? And a name as well, a capital letter well done. Tony's. Favourite planets 
are the watch with the face one on my list. Can you remember? Ooh, let's have a look together. Okay, so our first one was Jupiter. So let's pop Jupiter on there and we can do this together. Jupiter. Now, Jupiter is a name of a planet. What must I start a name with for my learning yesterday? A capital letter, well done. Jupiter. Now, before I write my next planet in my list, Tony's favorite planets, what must I put in that one rule? A comma, well done, a comma. Okay, I'm not going to do any more for you because you should be able to do your list sentences now that we have done our learning for today. So, you've only got two sentences to do, so I'm pretty sure you can get them done really quickly. So, hit pause on this video in a moment when I get your work back up for you and have a go at writing your list sentences, year three. Okay, year three, I can't wait to see your work and your purple books emailed into our year three email. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do our CPG questions because if you remember, part of our learning question was, can I answer questions based on the text? So today's text is on page 14. So look in your CPG book and see if you can find page 14. Oh, I found it straight away. And today it's called the Isle of Sky. So if you look at our words there, Isle, it's got an S in it, but it's a silent S. We don't say the S. Okay, it's called the Isle of Sky. And the Isle of Sky is an island. If you've noticed, it's got that same spelling, okay? So for instance, the United Kingdom where we live, we are an island because we have water all around us and we're not connected, we're not joined up with a different country. We don't have our borders with another country. Okay. And this island is in Scotland. So before we start, I found something in our text to do with our learning today and it's highlighted here. What's so special about that sentence? That's right, it is a list sentence because look, it's listing lots of animals and it's using the commas to pause. And then it uses one and at the end to separate the items. Okay, so let's read a bit of it together and use your fingers to follow the text. The Isle of Skye is an island in Scotland. Many people visit the island to go walking in the mountains and to look at the scenery, what they can see. Other people come to see the wild animals. The island is home to lots of interesting animals such as otters, seals, whales and dolphins. Now looking at our text, what other animals do you think might be found on that isle that's not in our list sentence? Well done if you looked at our picture. Also, sheep. Okay, so I want you to read the rest of the text from the word the here, all by yourself, because we need to read it to answer our questions. So hit pause on the video and have a go at reading it to your three. Okie dokie, I hope you've read that text to help us with our answers. Okay, let's look at question number one. Where is the Isle of Skye? Tick one and it's giving us three options. So let's have a look. It says in England, where we live, in Wales, or in Scotland. Now this is a retrieval, okay? So we can take our answer, retrieve it from our text. So I'm going to look for the words Isle of Skye or England, Wales, or Scotland, okay? Oh, I think the answer might be in the first sentence. Let's see if you can find that answer, retrieve that answer. Question number two, write down two animals you can see on the Isle of Skye. Now I'm sure there are some animals in a list sentence 
somewhere in our text. What two animals? So not just one, I need two. Question number three. Why is the island popular with people who are interested in history? This is another retrieval. I can take my answer from my text. Hmm. I'm possibly going to look for the words popular and history because those are two, um, it's two words, two parts of our vocabulary that might be in our text. So let's have a look. Island is pop, oh, I've found popular and I have found history. But does it tell me why, why they are interested? You need to find the reason why they are interested. What brings them to the island? Okay, and number four, your final question. Lots of people live on the Isle of Skye. Is this true? So is it right or is it false? Is that wrong? Lots of people live on the Isle of Skye. Now there is a difference between visiting somewhere, going for maybe one day or one week, and there's the difference of somebody living on that island. So they are there all the time. So read the text carefully, I'll give you a clue. It might be in the last paragraph, okay? Lots of people live on the Isle of Skye. Okie doke. So if you've not got three questions today, year three, you've got four. So I'm looking forward to seeing all of your answers for those. Please use your neatest handwriting and then maybe I will give a shout out for, uh, to the neatest handwriting, okay? The person who shows me that they are taking their time with their handwriting. Okay, I'll see you for tomorrow's learning gear three. Bye.